let me give you a background of the way I look at Vitazyme. Mm -hmm. When you're born, the majority of people have a bucket full of enzymes, systemic enzymes. And that's what Vitazyme addresses, systemic. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people get that confused with digestive enzymes. I think if they take digestive enzymes, they're getting systemics. And they're, they're totally different. But systemic enzymes start things up or make things speed up. And what Vitazyme is, is these enzymes, it's like when you eat fresh fruit, if you could pluck it or pull it up from the ground and eat it, you will get good enzymes. But if you sit it on a countertop for a very short period of time, it will start losing its enzymes properties. And the only thing you really have left will be vitamins and minerals but the enzymes die off quickly. But you're given this bucket full of enzymes when you're born. It's like when you see a baby fall, it cries for a little bit, gets up, and moves out. Mm -hmm. As we age, we don't get up as fast, and we stay down longer. And in each decade of life, we end up having more aches and pains. And one of the reasons is, every time you fall or hit yourself, or any little nudge creates a little bit of micro scarring in your body. And enzymes eat that up. Do you remember Pac-Man? Do you ever yeah. see the Pac-Man mm -hmm. game where you got a little eater that goes around and eats balls in the machine? Mm -hmm. Well, these are like little Pac-Man. They're going through your body, eating up scar tissue. But as you age, you're starting to use up your enzymes. So somewhere between 27 and 35, you all of a sudden realize you're not invincible anymore because you got an ache that you never had before. And what's happening is instead of your body being able to scoop out enzymes in spoonfuls, it's starting to put out in dropperfuls because it knows it's only got so much in that bucket to last you the rest of your life. So as we age, our levels are going lower and lower and all the scars that you create in your life start redeveloping again because there's not enough enzymes to keep eating it off. So that's why you have to put systemic enzymes back into the body. And the only way that I'm aware of that you can do it outside of plucking it from a tree and eating or plucking it from the ground and eating to get enzymes is in a product like Vitazyme. So once you get your bucket filled back up, it starts eating all that scar tissue up. So people that have any form of arthritis, it's just inflammation and scar tissue in the joints. And what Vitazyme does is eat up the inflammation and scar tissue so the joint's more pliable again because you don't want to get it to the point where it starts eroding the joint. So can we, in our 40s, 50s, and 60s, actually refill that bucket so that it yes. overflows again? Yes, most definitely. I did. I'm 62. Like I said, I would get up in the morning where from, you know, adjusting people for 30 years, my elbows, my shoulders would hurt, low back injury that I had back in my 20s, I would be stiff. And, I, you know, after a few minutes of loosening up, I could move, and it'd be gone. But I had it every morning. Mm -hmm. And once I got on Vitazyme, I don't have that no more. Mm -hmm. I get up, I don't hurt. You know that Rolled Nutrition has recently come out with a new Vitazyme, where with the old Vitazyme, we had to take something like nine a day on an empty stomach. So tell us a little bit about the new one. Are you, are you, are you still getting the kind of results that you expect to see from a systemic enzyme with the new Vitalzyme? Oh, yeah, because even uh, when I started, I was up to taking 20, I think 24 capsules a day because you would check every three months and start to lower your, your pill count a day to see if you could do it for less. Mm -hmm. And it took me seven months before I could go down. Now, with their new Vitalzyme, um, with the old Vitazyme, I would be taking, uh, I think, seven capsules a day. Mm -hmm. And with new Vitazyme, I think I take two a day. Uh -huh. 
most of the time. Sometimes one. And you and you still, and it, could that be because your bucket is already full? I mean, what about someone who's? Oh yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, you're gonna you'll see a result change, um, probably within two to four weeks, depending on how low your bucket is. Mm -hmm. But uh, to maintain a maintenance dosage is, you know, one to three maybe oh, okay. a day. So, Where, go ahead. you've got what. Now, yeah, I do need to explain the thing with Vitazyme that I found is is that you start off with, I think, two or three a day mm -hmm. and do that for, you know, a couple weeks. And if you still feel the stiffness of the joints or the inflammation, you go up one every four days mm -hmm. until you get that activation level where your body's going, yeah, this feels pretty good. And then at the end of a month, then you try taking it down one every four days to find out what your maintenance level is to keep your bucket full. Mm 